This is Two Valleys Radio and this is our constitution. Working in the community is what we pride ourselves in and bringing people together by the medium of radio is our passion. I'm James and over the past year I've been heavily involved in supporting local cultural events, providing a voice, speaking to the nation for otherwise shadowed events. We achieve a lot as a radio and we're quite proud of it. Extracurricular on Two Valleys Radio. Stay dry and warm Cause I'm begging for the And I'm playing for the sun To come my way And bring me constant joy and happiness My name is Tom And today I will be telling you Of how I started off working With Two Valleys Radio It started off with me being called out of a lesson at school I thought I was one In for a surprise Two in bad trouble Or three my family were hurt then to my surprise, whilst waiting to hear what was going on, my music teacher, Mr Morgan, walked out of the music block and said to me, Oh, has, that, has Mr Deering come yet to tell you about the radio work thing? I said no, of course, but Mr Deering was now stood next to me. He told me about playing two, maybe, maybe even three songs at the Upfront Gala. I did play at the, that festival and I really enjoyed it. My highlight of Two Valleys Radio was actually trying to get someone to broadcast with us. Me and another student at Holmford High School arranged a meeting. The meeting was successful and we managed to get a phone call with him in a broadcast. This of course was our head teacher. I'm Francis. I've been volunteering with Two Valleys Radio for nearly a year. In that time I've interviewed filmmakers, sculptors, writers, university lecturers, bands, charity workers and painters. I'm Clive and I'd just like to share with you an interesting time that I had with Two Valleys Radio. I was asked if I'd like to co-present an afternoon show. That was the question. On the day, in reality, the co-presenter was ill, so I was left with two hours plus uh, on my own. This was a challenge. Uh, I'd arrived bearing a couple of brass band CDs and a carefully prepared list of questions for three interviews. I was confronted by a huge running order containing people and topics that were all new to me. But Paddy stepped in and helped me through the afternoon's programme. I found it exhilarating and very informative about Slowit, and I hope the listeners did too. Beautiful rain clouds carpet the skies and deposit droplets to end the drought on market's demise. As sure as karma supplies the sunshine in the summer, the rain cometh and with it bringing the lightning and thunder. The sound frightens the youngest. I celebrate when the skies pour. They say the gods are upset. I wonder what they cry for. We rain dance, embracing showers. It's part of nature how the water restores the beauty of dehydrated flowers. It's the greatest power known to man. The sky sprung a leak, the earth soaked it up, the crops grew, and the Hunger ceased, we're living comfortably We take the privilege for granted The fifth of the planet lag it And is considerably damaged And we're complaining again Damn it, it's raining again Puddles on pavements cost the rain Won't penetrate the cement It's making no sense How one man's loss is another's gain That's why you can see me out there singing in the rain Like Hi, I'm Jack I interviewed three MPs which were in which were in the um, vote a week or two before the vote. They all had a chance to tell the community what they would change. I thought that the way they answered the questions was amazing, even though they used big words. The downside of this was not understanding what they were saying because I never heard the words before. I really enjoyed the experience.
Hi, I'm Ruby, and last year we interviewed the Chair of Governors from our school. We got to argue with him some of the rules and got into a debate about socks and uniforms. I don't think we changed anything, but my form tutor doesn't check my socks anymore. Sunny. Yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sunny. You smiled at me and really eased the pain. Oh, the dark days are gone. Bright days are here. My sunny one shining so sincere. Sunny one so true. I love you. I'm Mikey and the best thing I've done at Two Valleys Radio is when me and my band were invited to play at Honleyshire, which is a big agricultural event with sheep and tractors and things. Uh, it was really, really good and it was fun. Uh, one of the nicest things for me was uh, when uh, we had six young people in the studio up at Meltham doing a tele- telephone interview with the head teacher of Homeforth High School. And I looked round, and it was only then that I realised we had two young people from Homeforth High School, two from Honley, and two com- from Cone Valley High School. And they'd only ever met because of Two Valleys Radio. Uh, hi, I'm Connor. I found it was really good doing Enigma with Alex. We had a really good time, and not many people like heavy metal and it's not included in most things, and I thought it was good to give it a chance. Hi, I'm Rachel. We did a broadcast at Honley High School called A Creative High from Honley. It was all about the school's creative arts, and we interviewed the new head of creative arts and the English and drama teachers who were holding a Midsummer Night's Dream production. It was fun because we interviewed different students and the listeners all cheered outside the caravan. Ruby told me that Mr Baker used to be a bouncer, but when I asked him in the interview, he denied it. Hi, I'm Greg. I first started at Two Valleys Radio in December, and it was when it was snowing. I was up at Haydedge Bandroom, and Simon, our conductor, just told us it would be on the radio in a couple of weeks' time. And then, when we were on the radio, I remember peering through the little window in the door and thinking, whoa, I want to do, be doing that radio stuff. And I emailed Adrian on, from the website, and in a couple of weeks' time, I was interviewing the mayor of Kirklees. So it's great.